So a uh, very interesting trade uh, just happened as our stream wrapped up. Um, great timing, by the way, uh, NHL GMs. But the Vegas Golden Knights um, have traded Max Pacioretty and Dylan Coughlin to the Carolina Hurricanes for future considerations. Um, and Carolina has been real busy in the last 20 minutes or so. They've also signed former Toronto Maple Leafs forward Andre Kasha to a one-year, $1.5 million deal. Um, so we know the deal with Max Pacioretty. A great player. Um, he was an absolute uh, stud for the uh, Vegas Golden Knights as well as the Montreal Canadiens. Uh, I believe he's making $7.5 million um, for one more season. And, you know, if you look at his statistics, you know, last year, you know, he did have some health issues, got injured, didn't play the full season, only 39 games, but he had 37 points in those 39 games. He had 20 goals already, so he was on an almost 40-goal pace, which would have been his best goal-scoring pace since 2016, um, um, which when he, when he had 35 goals, right? And so we were looking at a return to, you know, I guess you could call it prime Max Pacioretty. Um, and you know you would have figured that he would be he would have been a guy that a team like Vegas would have loved to keep. Um, unfortunately for Vegas, they just don't have the cap space to to make that happen. Jack Eichel's making ten mil. Mark Stone's got a big contract. I'm assuming that they're going to try to move off of Alec Martinez, but until they do, that's a guy making over five million dollars a year. And so Vegas, with their free agent signing of um, Riley Smith, five years, uh, five million for three years with guys that they need to bring back who are instrumental to their success last season, well, like uh, Nick Haig, like, um, uh, like Nicholas Raw, uh, Roy. Like, they need the money, right? And so future considerations and having to give Dylan Coughlin, who's one of their better young defensemen, um, who probably would have seen some form of NHL ice time, um, on a more consistent basis, if a guy like Martinez were to get traded, is definitely tough, especially since Vegas isn't getting anything back. But this is what happens when you go for it, when you try to win with this team, with 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 your team out the gate, right? Um, they've given up a lot of their prospects, and they've gone and signed a lot of big money guys, and the caps finally caught up to them. Um, from Carolina's perspective, great trade. They had thirteen million cap before these two moves. Patch Reddy cuts that in half, so they probably have around 7 mil. They get Dylan Coughlin. They send Kasha to 1.5, so they probably still have around 5 to 6 million to work with to bring back um, a guy like... Um, uh, a guy like... Um, uh, what do you call it? Uh, Martin Akesh. Although t- and the Brent Burns contract has been updated. So, yeah, definitely... Um, improvements there so Carolina I, I was a little bit skeptical about the Brett Burns trade but this patch ready trade honestly a home run for them um and then Andre Kasha you know as, as a Leafs fan I've watched a lot of him the past couple this past season um very good very fast player um not the strongest on the puck but he works incredibly hard um he's really scrappy you, you worry about injury concerns you worry about durability um, but when he's healthy He's a really good middle six forward, um, can contribute on a second power play unit. So Carolina definitely got a good player there. Um, so really for Vegas, it came down to they need to bring back their depth. With a guy like Eichel coming back full time, they felt like they had enough depth where an older guy like Max Pacioretty wasn't part of their future. And as much as they probably would have liked draft picks back, other teams know that they needed to get rid of him in order to bring back the rest of their team. Um, and so they had to give up a young guy in Dylan Coughlin to get rid of him. From Carolina's perspective, there's their Trocek and Niederreiter replacements. I don't think uh, Niederreiter is going back to Carolina now. Um, I don't think Carolina particularly cares. It's a really good replacement that they've got there um, for, uh, for Niederreiter slash uh, Trocek. Um, and Kasha is a budget option that I think has an immense upside for them. Um, so yeah, we're like we mentioned, we're gonna keep trying to pump out these videos um, as news comes out, and um, we will catch you guys next time. If you like the video, make sure to like and subscribe, and hopefully, you know, free agency keeps this momentum going uh, in the next couple of days. Um, so have a good one, boys. Uh, we'll see you next time.